Welcome to anyone watching, it's Craig at mysimpit.co.uk and welcome to part 6 of the front dash build. In this video we're going to look at a redesign that was needed for the implementation of the flight control stick. Let's buckle up. To this point in the build we have this unit here in front of us physically built and painted and now what we're looking to do is to take the flight control stick which is this unit here and to install that into the front dash frame. So it's a Thrustmaster flight control stick we have which is part of the HOTAS system and we can see there's a plate that will disregard and that is attached just simply by four M4 screws that can be detached from the bottom and what that will leave you with will be just what will be the base and the handle and then we need to just split those into the two parts and we can look to install this into the frame and then have a extension that will raise this to the height needed. As per the original design the plan was that the base of the flight control stick would be installed into this part of the front dash frame. So I'll just come in close so we can have a look at that. And that was the ideal placement from the point of view that there was a um, a special cutout there for the cabling to go through and a conduit through which it would run and come out of here so all the wiring would be hidden and I'll bring up a side by side of the physical the physical construction to that point including this base but what I did find is that it really did run into a few problems here so having a look at the the original intention of how it'd be put together it was as simple as onto the base there'd be a tube and at the top of the tube would sit the handle but the problem I encountered was if the handle was moved uh, to any real extent in any direction given the weight of the handle um, and the distance given the new height it simply at the base could not self-center on its own and that really didn't work for me when flying so that was the first problem I encountered. The next problem I encountered was that whilst to have some kind of extension initially is a great thing because the further that you increase the height, the greater the travel at the top and therefore the greater degree of control you have, it gets to a point where the length is so much that you can no longer feel what's happening at the base. So actually you start to lose control so they were the main two things that were an issue that it couldn't self-center if it's of a particular length and also you can't really feel what's happening at the base. So it became clear quite early on that the base itself would need to be mounted higher although at that point I would then want an extension albeit a smaller one. So if we just have a look of sort of an initial idea of what that would look like we can see that you've got some extra tube here and then it would just be the base would begin at this point but there'd still be a small extension here. The problem I then encountered um, at that point is this fixed position here just was simply too far forward and I guess everyone needs to have the, a seating position that works for them but for me I was finding that sitting this far forward my knees were literally right up at this point here and it just didn't work and I did have a look at introducing uh, to this pipe here an angle that it would move the the handle backwards but again I, I found that by taking this handle and putting it even slightly back given the weight of it when you then moved it again it couldn't self-center so it became clear that I really would need to take this whole unit here and find a way to move it further out 
So if going to the lengths of redesigning how the flight stick will be installed into the front dash, I decided I'd want the new setup to allow adjustment in the future so I could alter the extent to which it's away from the front dash, the height at which the base begins to at any time alter the height of the extension, but also to be able to take the grip and to be able to deflect that a number of degrees, say 20 to 30 or more in either direction. So I went back to the initial design and I thought through how I could achieve that. So this is what I put together. Effectively a rectangular box, again made out of an 18mm thick MDF wood, which has a circular hole to allow the tube to slide into and at the bottom of that the piece of wood at the bottom would have a cutout within that circular too so that would slot in so that it's not moving around here and of course at this point stopping it moving around to stabilize it and there'd be a couple of rectang thin rectangular cutouts here and the way this would be placed into this frame is as can be seen here. It's as simple as it just slides under. There would be a bolt on the right of it and a bolt on the left and those bolts will fall through into the rectangular slits that we had in this box because that allows us if we want we can slide this in as far as we have here which is just about as far in as it can go and tighten these bolts either side to secure it but if we wanted to move this outwards to have it further away from the front dash we could simply loosen these bolts pull this out and obviously it slides along those slits we've cut and then we tighten it up so that was um, the first thing that it allowed us to do also the tube itself there could be extra wood put in here to, to raise it. Um, it. It allows us to control the height of this tube here. And if we have a look then at the design with the flight control stick actually mounted onto it, we can see that the base simply sits on top of this tube. It would have its own extension which I've calculated that at a length that I feel gives me the greatest amount of control but it still self centers and I can still feel what's happening in the base here but of course at any time uh, given these adapters here and here that can detach the handle from the base we could change this tube for a longer one shorter one so that can be modified to any length but then where the handle screws into this tube, the screw holes at the bottom here that will connect it to, to this base, there'd be again a slit in those so that would allow um, this handle, should we loosen these screws, to be rotated up to 20 degrees to the left or to the right and then be tightened up. So this new design would allow those four key things to control the distance here uh, from the dash, the height here up to where the base starts, the length of the extension here which affects the travel and control and then the ability to rotate and fix in a different position this handle. A fair bit of time had gone into altering this piece of wood here that was a stick and fuse base in the original design to accommodate the, the base of the flight control stick and I think the easiest thing would have been just to have to run with it as you see on screen here and not to have spent the extra time redesigning it. But I think when all this is done and built and the simp it's there to fly, there's just no point in them being stuck with something that just is not flexible to modify and is not comfortable to use. So although it's took quite some time, I think it's well worth introducing this extra unit here in place of this which will lead to the design that we see in front of us here so this will have a better more ergonomic
placement, but also be more adjustable uh, for things and, and reasons I might need to change it in the future. So in the next video, we're now going to build this and we're going to implement it into that frame. Thanks for watching.